Bob in Arcadia, California writes to me and he says, some of my favorite recordings were recorded with one microphone. They can create a three-dimensional presence that is captivating. With PS Audio's Octave Studio's state-of-the-art DSD recording capability, have you folks considered experimenting with one microphone recordings? Recorded directly to DSD 256 in your new tracking room, I'd bet they could sound amazing. Yeah, actually we've been playing around with that. So here's a, a quasi one. Um, this is a, uh, as we've talked about before, a bloom line setup for this, uh, this particular Telefunken microphone. A little crooked here for whatever reason. A crooked microphone. And it's, so let's, let's, let's review what the idea behind such a thing is. With a bloom line setup, it's a, the top half of this is one microphone and the bottom half is a second microphone. Each one has to be, if it were a speaker, we'd call it a dipole, but in this instance, it's a, a microphone. So it has to be able to accept sound uh, in a figure eight pattern. So out here it accepts sound and then out here it accepts sound. And now at a right angle to this capsule is another identical figure eight pattern that goes like this and goes like this. So what you wind up with is 360 degree sound. Now, why would somebody want such a thing? Well, you're trying to capture the room and the recording, and that's why it sounds so live. And I've done a few of these, and they're spectacular direct to DSD-256, wow. And you'll be hearing some of those on Octave Records. Another thing we've been experimenting with, uh, I've had Otis Taylor. Uh, I don't know how many of you know Otis. Otis happens to be my neighbor, great guy, and a fabulous musician. So Otis is doing one of the next Octave Records in here, and he's got, oh man, <laughs> as Otis said, musicians don't work for me that don't cut the... Uh, the talent pooled properly. I mean, wow, what, what great musicians he has. We've been working with Nick, his bassist, and it's really been fun. And one of the things that I've been experimenting with in these sessions is the idea of having the bloom line. We'll set it there. Okay, now it's picking up as, you know, here in this cloverleaf pattern that we talked about, getting a lot of the room. So when Otis is sitting here playing banjo or guitar, it's picking up Otis's instrument, his acoustic instrument, and the space around it. And it sounds very, very live. There is a lip for this single instrument, there's a little something missing, and it's proximity. Because if we get too close, Th this blue line thing doesn't work all that well. So then uh, one of my favorite microphones is the Bach. And uh, David Bach makes these and uh, he and I are, are good friends. And this probably for a single point microphone is by far my favorite. This is a beautiful microphone. And what we've been experimenting with is a three-channel recording. So the Bach, which is full, rich, and big, kind of near the guitar, right? And the Bloom line, Telefunken, or the C24, picking up the room and some of the proximity. Now, the, the, the distances can vary, and we have to do it by ear. But this is one of the cool things we've been trying, just FYI. This kind of setup with a single mic, if you had people, you know, musicians around in a circle, oh my gosh, I can't wait to do one of those. Or drums, putting it over a drum set, whoo, amazing. You'd probably want to augment it a little bit with a foot pedal, or, you know, a, a, the bass drum and all that. But yeah, we've been doing stuff like that and it's, it's cool. It is terrific. So more to come, okay, from... DSD Studios, Octave. Okay, take it easy. Bye.